Companies like TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Book are fueling a mental health crisis by designing their platforms with addictive and dangerous features. We cannot stand by and let big tech monetize our children's privacy and jeopardize their mental health. Last month, New York City became the first major U.S. city to declare social media an environmental toxin, putting in place a public health emergency. The mayor said at the time that more details would be coming. Well, now we know what some of those details are. Mayor Adams announced Wednesday the city is suing the owners of Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube and Snapchat, arguing the companies knowingly created addictive platforms and claiming millions of dollars in damages. Over the past decade, we have seen just how addictive and overwhelming the online world can be, exposing children to content they are not ready for, disrupting the educational process and seriously damaging their self-esteem and well-being. City officials are calling for increased mental health care, pointing to data that rates of suicidal ideation have increased among adolescents. According to Adams, the city spends $100 million annually on youth mental health programs and services. The lawsuit filed in California Superior Court seeks undetermined damages. Recently, social media companies have faced a barrage of scrutiny from state and national politicians as several social media CEOs were questioned and scolded by some U.S. lawmakers during public testimony. Meta founder Mark Zuckerberg pushed to apologize by Senator Josh Hawley. Would you like now to apologize to the victims who have been harmed by your product? Show them the pictures. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? I, 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 Zuckerberg did, however, contend a decline in teen mental health is not directly related to his product. In response to New York's lawsuit, a Meta spokesperson told Reuters the company wanted teens to have safe, age-appropriate experiences online. TikTok said it will continue to work to keep the community safe by addressing industry-wide challenges. Google also responded to New York City's suit, saying, We've built services and policies to give young people age-appropriate experiences and parents robust controls. The allegations in this complaint are simply not true. Snapchat told ABC News, While we will always have more work to do, we feel good about the role Snapchat plays in helping close friends feel connected, happy, and prepared as they face the many challenges of adolescence. While New York looks to take action against social media, a federal judge in Ohio granted tech industry group NetChoice, which represents Facebook and TikTok, among others, a legal win. The judge saying an Ohio law requiring people under the age of 16 to get parental permission to use social media is unconstitutional. Foreclosing minors under the age of 16 from accessing all content on websites that the act purports to cover, absent affirmative parental consent, is a breathtakingly blunt instrument for reducing social media's harm to children. The judge's preliminary injunction is another blow to an increasing trend nationwide of requiring age verification to use social media apps. A federal judge ruled in September an age restriction in Arkansas violated the First Amendment, blocking the law.